Yeah, force me. I, I will force. Yeah. <laughs> I need to do something. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, and you probably have a pretty good idea of what, what the problem could possibly be. Um, yeah. And so okay. this, uh, uh, the, the question, um, Ola, do you want to investigate a little bit and ask your sister or anyone you know about what on earth could be the, the situation? Um, I mean, yeah, that's of course one thing. Um, but I also uh, trying to push. Can I be of help? Can I? Can you add me to this? So I, I try to pull strings right. on right. both getting information and getting kind of. Is there a place for me? Well, this is not a conflict either. Your sister says she needs somebody that she can trust in this. Uh, so she gives you access to the management communications of the repairs. You're not supposed to have that access, but suddenly you are on that team, and you do. So right, therefore, man. the people who are giving orders to the repair team and monitoring the results, you are now included in that committee. All right. Yeah. You are working uh, from your I, screens. It... You are working from your screens separately, but you are involved. In fact, they probably don't oh. know that it's you personally. No, uh, I'm. Yeah, good uh, because I'm well prepared for this. Mm. Uh, this was, well, was probably one of my my probable scenarios when I mm -hmm. uh, painted all my walls with uh, right, things. Right. So, so I, I'm I'm trying to be of of maximum use Excellent. from the start in this and impressing people. Okay. Well, the biggest problem with the big scoop outside on the of the portion of the ship is that uh, it has uh, uh, been affected. Somebody in the lubricant system of the fluids, the way the scoop works is not through electronic robotics, but by the pumping of fluid through what we would call hydraulics, through the different pressure chambers in there, and that's what changes its position. And uh, those tubes have been compromised in some terrible way. So somebody has to go in there and restore their functions. It's very, it's not a standard. Procedure? Mal, well, it's not a standard malfunction. So you have to figure out, you and the management team have to figure out some way to do it. And when that doesn't work and you're already stuck in there, then you have to figure out a different way to do it. Shouldn't Mark come in here somehow? Uh, I was wondering, what, what, yeah. am, am well, I that's, that's, one? That's, yeah, you are one of the, you have got yourself right into the middle of this. So you are crawling <laughs> around in terrible things out in the depths of space in a working spacesuit, but you are tight in all these little tunnels and places and joints and huge mechanical devices that could crush you like a bug without losing one bit of momentum. Hmm. Yes. So, uh, so uh, I'm, I'm trying to do. Do I communicate with people at yes, the same time? Yes, you have yeah. you have uh, short wave communications, and then your the person in charge of your team then has a means of communicating to the team that Gerard is part of, and they are <laughs> all in their offices or in their rooms typing away on their consoles <laughs> and comparing data with each other and coming up with plans and things like that. Uh, do I do I uh, so do do, uh, do do I see easily what's the problem or is it, uh, a lot of investigation? Or... That's what we are <laughs> going to discover right now. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so the uh, let's see if there's there's something I I was a little bit confused about something. Give me just one last moment. I promise this is the last check that I will do for a. Uh, Ruling. <laughs> yeah, the, the last time I'm going to look for a rule here and see. Okay. Right. For every conflict, each player with a protagonist involved must clarify exactly what the stakes are for that protagonist. That's something we were a little bit too vague about, too vague for a <clears throat> situation before. We needed to have a better idea of what happened if you failed. Right. Um, and so uh, I kind of made up that you would get in trouble. Well, that would have been the same thing I made up.
Right, perfect. <laughs> so then we're good. Okay, so, but we should have done that beforehand. Okay, so here is... our situation. Okay, I understand. The question is, working together, I mean, against the, the problem, you see, whoever narrates is really probably going to say whether the ship all comes apart and blows apart in the depths of space, or anything else, right? So we are just trying to find out what what your you know what your protagonist is trying to achieve, um, and hope that somebody nice gets the high card. So um, let's see here. Uh, I am going to say that Mark's situation. You are in a conflict, Mark, and the and you. We need to arrive at what your stakes are. I am going to say whether. I think it is about whether the scoop is going to actually be restored to function. Because if it's <clears> restored to function, the ship can go on and do its ordinary thing, right? What it was going to do. Yep. Unexpectedly. But this is a bit this is bad damage, so it's going to be quite a quite an achievement to to do this. <clears throat> right? So yep. uh, that's the stakes for you. Uh, who else is involved in this conflict? It will be Ola as well, certainly, right? For Gerard. Uh -huh. Uh, I see it now. Okay. So, uh, and, but yeah. think of it as being this enormous, horrific industrial device on the belly of a spaceship, yeah. right? So, um, now the uh, the next thing for for us then, what are the stakes for you, for Gerard? So you could have similar stakes, which would mean you both have to succeed, which would be actually less of a chance. Or you could have slightly different stakes for you in terms of what you can achieve in this situation, um, either for yourself or for the ship. I mean, for example, you could uh, try to reveal. You could be trying to reveal, not only helping with the situation, but you could actually be revealing that it had been sabotaged. Yeah, that, that was my thought. Okay. Uh, but I would I probably also have a personal interest of being, uh, I mean, my, I, I want, I'm really eager to do good also. Right. So Sure. No, I understand that. <coughs> okay. So right mm -hmm. now, does anybody have, <coughs> you see, this is why you now should be realizing that you really, really, really want to, uh, you really want to be giving each other fan mail so that you all each have built up a little stack. Right now, it's just sitting unused in the audience pool where it's doing nobody any good at all. Uh, quick okay. question. How, how much fan mail do I have? Because I gave one to Elma. And, uh... Right. Let me. We, we need to understand the, the economy, okay? There is a bowl called the audience pool. When you give fan mail to someone, you take it from the audience pool and you give it to them. You never have it yourself. <clears throat> right? You can't give it from you to Helma. You can only give it from the audience pool to Helma. Okay. When Helma has it, she cannot give it to anyone else. She can use <clears throat> it for more cards. So when you say, I have fan mail, well, you may or may, you may not, but that's not what you would use to give to people. Does that okay. make sense? Yes. Yeah, you are a one-way trip. It comes to you from another player, from the audience pool, and it's used by you for cards. Either but in the game... It... Or for someone else. Yeah. But you're supposed to give fan mail to someone after they did something cool or said something Correct. cool. And when, and when I not, say give, not, it's a bad word. What you should say is, I don't know. Distribute. Distribute Send? from the audience pool. Right, yes. Be yeah. Because uh, Elma, Elma gave me a, a fan mail. Uh, so you can spend it on a card, card if you would like, yes. I, I can spend it yes. right now. 
Yeah, yeah okay. Uh-huh. I thought I, I, I can always spend it in more than I got it. Okay. Uh, because then I want to use that, of course. Okay. <laughs> Sandra, what Wait you... a minute. I, yeah. I think uh, you do have to declare whom you want to spend it on, right? Be- when, that's what yes, I yes, did when true. I said I want to spend mine on, on Sandra. Yes, mm-hmm. they're correct. Mm-hmm. When you do spend it, yes, correct. Mm-hmm. At the moment, Max is saying that he's probably going to spend it on himself, which is no surprise. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now, um, Sandra, you were going to say something a moment ago. I uh, I can give him a fan mail as well. It seems like uh, he needs it. Okay, excellent. All right, so here is. I, do I use? Can I use that directly then? The fan mail yes. we given. Uh-huh. So then I have two fan mails I'll use. That's right. So well, yeah, uh, wait, 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 wait. Let's let's. I- I don't know if we want to get this technical. Do you want me just to do it, or do you want me to explain it? Just do it. Just okay. do it for the moment. Right. So <laughs> here's your two cards for your screen presence. And then yeah. what about your your edges and traits and things? What are you going to use? Um, probably my physical and mathematic skills Okay. to calculate the, what the problem can be uh, and then see, OK, this is most reasonable. Right. Because this is not, yeah. yeah. Okay, like what the problem is, and then uh, solving it uh, yeah. with mathematics or uh, just because, oh, yeah, it's right. this. Okay. Do go with that. So we have that. And so yeah. then you are going to spend some fan mail, right, for yourself. And then Sandra yes. has also going to spend a peel point of her fan mail, I think. Yes. On you. Okay. Okay. So yes. that's your situation. Um, uh, and then Ola, you have your two fan mail and what else? Or sorry, two cards for your screen presence. What about your other traits and things? Yeah, I, I think and I still can use my resourceful and and, but I'm I'm not sure. I don't don't think she can use my sister in this case. She, she kind of, I mean, I she brought me here, but she's not. Supporting me in an active way. Of course, she is. Or, or, or she's okay. the one protecting your identity yeah. here and everything. Okay. Yeah. All right. Don't turn so down cards. Then I, <laughs> your sister counts. Okay. I say. Uh, yeah. All right. Okay. Then I have resourceful. I but at least I don't think wealthy will benefit. No, from I don't this think so. Because I. Yeah, I agree. Oh. But the other two. Oh. So okay. Yeah. The question is, how much of my budget? Am I going to spend? You know, they say it's so good to save a budget. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think you. So we are you should save from, a little bit, Ron. We are you working for Anka? He saves everything. <laughs> but uh, it's a good way to handle things. I spend the <laughs> budget. You are up against seven cards. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and so. Uh, the the thing that I want to uh, to stress here is that Helma and Sandra, you can get yourselves involved. The whole ship is thrown into turmoil under these circumstances. If you think of a way that you could be involved, please say so. I know I know small places. I can get in there for ventilations or something. I'm I'm in there. Into the repair area. Well, we're uh, we're uh, Maxis, I guess. I'm uh, I'm in space. Yeah, it's it, he's out yeah. there in the in in the in the the unshielded portions of the ship. It's not you can't just walk. Oh, there. okay, you're outside. Okay, well, on the hull. <laughs> well, how am I going to put it? He is inside the equipment, but the equipment is not outside the ship. Yeah, the, the equipment has no atmosphere. Right. <laughs> Okay. If the if the if the scoop folds in the wrong space, then he will be squished. I'm dead. Yeah. So, <laughs> mm-hmm. so Sandra, that's not being in that spot's probably not too sensible, but you could think of some other way that your character is involved in this if you want to be. Um it doesn't necessarily have to do with the repairs directly. The same thing for Helma. Or the two of you, or one of you can just say, I'm not in the conflict. That's okay. 